Hey, what's up guys and gals, Rick 9G here, episode 47. We are here in the middle of our farm. I want to do a little bit of, it's it's kind of close to Halloween, so I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a, you know, a greeting for you. Hey, what's up guys and gals? No, you don't like it? No. Okay, well thank you so much for joining me. I was trying to do some Freddy and Jason horror stuff, but it didn't really work out for me in this farm. I mean, it's night, it's perfect, guys and gals. Now if you look over here, you see this is filled with green stuff. A hay bale. Yes, I did some hay baling off screen. We're going to get to that in just a little bit. However, we have a few things we have to do first of all, guys and gals. Now, we have a couple things over here. We have... This is the small big trailer because it's the smallest of the big ones that I have. Um, this one, I don't really call the smallest. I call them the double trailer because it's like a double thing we have going on. We have two of these corn things going on. By the way, um, we did finish all of the corn harvesting. So let's go over there. We are doing the canola harvesting. Remember we started doing that? Yes, now we are almost halfway done. Look at that. We have a good amount of canola collected. But remember, canola is more like gold. You don't get as much of it, but it is worth a lot more than like wheat, let's say. So if we keep on going, we do have over here some, is this wheat or barley? Yeah, this is wheat. And we have our, where's our trailer for the wheat? Do I even have a trailer set up? I don't. Okay, well, perfect. Well, let's go over there and start collecting the wheat. Now, I think this is that area over here yeah it's this field so I, I did a couple things off camera but remember guys and gals I don't like to do tons of stuff off camera just some tidying up if you saw if you noticed this I did some wind rowing one two three as opposed to that's how it regularly looks I didn't do a lot of it but I try to wind row getting ready for bailing I want to do some bailing on camera for you because um, I don't know I think that's part of the fun I like bailing but I am also going to do and grab that big, big loading wagon. Where is it? This one. The Terra Vitesse 5201. Look at this. 88,000, but it holds 50,000 liters capacity of whatever, of straw or grass. Um, is this silage? No, chaff, right? Wait, how do you collect chaff? That doesn't make sense. Well, I don't know. Let me know what that is. I, I think it's chaff. Let me see. Yeah, I think it is. I don't know how we would get it in there, right? It doesn't suck it up from the ground, so I don't know. But we'll let this baby keep going. And then our canola is on the move. And look at this. We have 45,000 units of canola, which is pretty good considering how expensive it is. Let's go over here. And look at this, guys and gals. Wheat is on the up and up. So... I don't know, it makes me think that I want to kind of speed this up, but then it's going to mess up my wheat price. And we are collecting wheat, so I might just wait until wheat is done, and then just go from there, guys and gals. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of I don't know, because it's so so much uncertainty. Now I have this Euro boss. There's nothing in it. This is kind of full of straw, right? Yeah, it's it's full of straw. How are our animals doing? Our cows mostly. That's all the animals we have. I don't know why, guys and gals, this is at zero. I don't I don't understand that, even though I am getting milk. I don't know if this is broken or it's a bug or what. You can see my animals have straw. They have mixed ration, maybe because I'm dropping off with that trailer and it, it doesn't register this. But if you guys and gals know, that's probably what it is. But if you maybe if that's not it, just let me know. I would love to know. Okay, perfect. But I do want to fast forward to the end of the night. So we might just do that. I want to be able to get my lump sum of money for the milk that I've collected. So it's only going to take 30 seconds. If you didn't watch last time's episode, guys and gals, look at this. I got a new mower. It is a monster mower. Look at that. But I've also done some off-camera hay bale. Oh, there we go. 1260 and... Boom, 151,000 units, dollars actually. And yes, I do have my hay bales. Oh, at 17, you're gonna be able to move these manually with your arms and hands and stuff. That's so cool. Oops, I'm getting a little bit of frame rate issues. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. 
All right, so you see there's about 16 of them. I do want to collect them. I'll do that in a little bit, though. There's a few more things I want to do before that. Now, oh, this guy did dump everything that he was supposed to dump. Okay, perfect. Now, let me go see if I can do... Wow, it's really dark. So I might just... I don't know. I know it might mess up my wheat thing, but the thing is it's super dark. I don't like that. I don't like the super darkness. All right. Let me go out there. I'll turn the lights on so that you all can see. All right, let's, wow, there's just a maze of equipment. We're gonna clean this up in just a little bit. Look at that, it's all messy and crazy. I want to see if I can grab our, where is it? Is it over here? Okay, now I don't officially know where it is. I'm trying to look for our wind rower. I thought I had it. But I don't know where it is. Oh, you know where it might be, guys and gals? It might be in the other field where the cows are. Because I was using it for that. But no, it's not there. See, it's right here. <laughs> I knew it was somewhere. Because I couldn't find the Lambo. And I was like, what is going on here? So let's do a little bit of this. Yeah, baby. There we go. So that's all collected. Let's just open this baby up. We have lights on the back and in the front. And we'll do a little turn. It's just, is this lowered? It's not lowered. All right. And the way that I do it, guys and gals, I just hit the tractor for the middle row. I just kind of step on it. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get all three. That's like a perfect way to guesstimate and get what you're trying to do. Now, if you see, I have $279,000. Um, I think that makes me want to buy a few more cows. We'll go to 145. I like to buy them in little groups, not like a million cows. Okay, we're still at 266. Now, I did want to upgrade my harvester. I did say that. Let's go take a look. This one is pretty available. I could sell my other harvester and then just buy one of these. The big There isn't a big difference on what it collects. See, this is 9,000. This collects 10. But what I like is the header. So 7130, and this is the Acros. So let's look over here. The Acros width is 7. And then this is the 7130, right? Okay, that's this one. Okay, this is 10 meters. It is a little bit more, but is it worth the extra money? I don't even have enough money for it. I don't know. It might be worth it to get a better tractor. Or maybe not. Right, I might just save. I think I'm gonna save, guys and gals. I really do want to get um, the sugar beets going, and it is expensive. I I kind of want to jump from this, which is basically the same as a beet harvester. Uh, excuse me, the potato harvester we have. But I want to jump to this one, the Homer Exact Terados T4-40. It's um, actually less expensive, but you have to buy this for it, whereas here you don't. And it is another 50 grand. So it's basically half a million dollars just to get into beets. So it is kind of expensive. So we're going to see if we can get there. Oh, we are going to get there. That's that's not a problem. The thing is when. That's that's the only question, guys and gals. When? Of course I want to do it before 17 comes out. Because like I said, I'm not going to come back to this. I might do like one, like a flashback episode where we go and just take a look at our farm, see how it's doing. You know, mess around a little bit, but that's about it. That's about it. All right, let's exit this baby. The light is coming. Let us see if wheat has dropped. It has dropped. Silage has gone up, which is kind of nice. Ooh, I like that. All right, we're going to have to do some quick silage selling to get a little bit more money. Maybe we can make close to the quarter mil. Well, we already hit quarter mil. I mean, half a mil. There we go. I'm going to move this baby over here so he's out of the way. And what do I do? Well, this guy's filled up almost. So 9,000 more. So we'd be. Oh, he's not done yet. Okay. He's still going. Okay. Well, that's okay. Let me do one more swath of this. And then I think I might hit the bales, guys and gals. I want to collect those. And I actually want to dump them in the silo, the mixing silo so that we can get that stuff going. 
because we do need some type of trailer for the silage. Wait, we do have a trailer, right? Yeah, we do. We have the double trailers. I forgot about those. How could I forget, guys? You are awesome double trailers. I think I could use those. Oh, but they're harder to use with the conveyor, so I don't know. I may have to double think that strategy. Or I could switch this one for the double. I'll do that. I'll do that at the end of this row. Yeah, we got a lot to do. We're so busy. We're so busy. That's what happens, guys and gals, when you get famous on a farm like that. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm super telling you. All right, let's cut it over here. And I'm just going to get inside the area over here so we don't get hit by anything. Okay, perfect. So, okay, so this guy's done. So let's go to our trailers. Okay, so let's go over here, and we're basically going to switch everything. I'll show you what I mean. I'll switch the red trailer for the double gray ones. And then I'll take this one over there to the silage farm, or to the biogas plant. And then we'll get started on that stuff. So we gotta sell, sell, sell. We gotta make the de dinero, which is money. For all of you who don't know. All right, this thing is gonna be lovely and filled. And I don't even think we need that double trailer. There's only a little bit left. I don't think that harvester will even get filled. We can just dump it back over there. So that's what I'll do. I don't. I'm pretty confident. Two more swaths of this won't fill this guy up. Alright, so we'll hit around 18,000 liters. And then we'll stop there. There we go. Perfect. Oh, getting a little bit more. <laughs> oh, he spilled some. I honestly don't care when he spills some. It's like, eh, oh well, just a little bit. Like, what can I do? I can't do much. It happens. I'm sure it happens in real life, but you don't want it to. It's a little more valuable than this. Alright, so let's dump this where this is supposed to go. We'll go about there. Perfect. Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Careful with that. Hopefully it got it all. Okay, what did I just drop? Wheat, right? Um, that looks about right. Okay. Now let's take this to the biogas plant. Let's hit an interior view over here. And hit cruise control, of course. You guys don't even know when I hit cruise control. It's so smooth. So smooth. Let's hit the lights. I do you want to make sure we don't get lost in the farming jungles? And I could go over this field. Haha, -ha, because there's no crop. Haha. -ha. <laughs> now, hopefully the conveyor's over there. I forgot where if if it's even there. I think it should be there. Hope you guys and gals are doing amazing. Everything is going fine with me. Everything's going good. Just kind of keep on the gaming route. Let me take a swig of water. Ooh, a little bit of jackknife in there. Pretty normal for me. I think I'm the jackknifing king. It just always happens to me. All right. So we're about where we want to go. This is. Uh, we don't need to zoom out. I'm just so used to playing in the other mode. It's. I don't know if it's easier or harder. I think people say this is a harder mode because this is how it really should be played, right? I'll, I'll agree with you. I just like to see the whole map in its entirety, you know? I like to see what's going on. It's just the way I play. Alright, let's get over there to the conveyor. Let's fill that baby up and see how much we can get in there. Because remember, there's a big sale going on for silage. They really want, or big demand, that's that's the correct terminology. There's a big demand, high demand. That means other farmers aren't producing that much silage, and so they want any type of silage they're willing to pay more because they really need it. So we got to give it to them. Let's get this going. Let's, let's lower this a little bit. Back it on up. Okay, there we go. There we go. I love how this thing fills it up look at that I wonder if there's gonna be something like this in 17 I bet there's gonna be a mod if you haven't seen my farming simulator 17 update on mods and how awesome they're gonna be if you guys are into mods at all and love farming simulator oh my gosh you're gonna go nuts with 17 you have no idea they're just gonna upgrade the whole system there's this whole system where you'll be able to play in the game and download the mods like it's it's ridiculous and you're all gonna just be like wow 
I was surely impressed. I, I had no idea that they were going to do something like this. And when I heard it, I was just amazed. So go ahead and take a look. I think you will be pleasantly surprised. And grateful, too. You're going to be like, thank you, thank you, Giants. Thank you so much. All right, so wait. Shouldn't this guy be the first one? Yes. So the conveyor should be the first guy over there. Wait, wait. All right. He should be the first one over there. Let's just get this going. I think it doesn't really matter what bucket you put it under or next to, actually. As long as it goes in. Okay, I think... Why am I so crooked? Let me straighten out. I'm so OCD sometimes trying to get it all perfect. Okay. Is that... That's fine. Okay. And that's grinding away. And we'll see how much this will give us. Hopefully we hit... I'm guessing we're probably going to hit like 350,000. Somewhere in there, which is still nearly not enough to get anywhere close to that beet harvester that we want. By the way, that is a Homer DLC pack harvester, just so you know. We're coming up to a close. I told you I was going to do bailing, so as soon as this sells, I'm going to do that. And we might go over time, but I, I try to keep promises and not, like, make a promise and then, you know, not do it. So let me just do that. Let me keep doing this. And 350. Oh, we're going to hit 400. We're going to hit 400. Boom, and we did. Yes, guys and gals. Now, I think in the other episode, we're just going to completely sell more, and we're going to definitely hit that and go into beats. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's just fly to where we need to go. Okay, let me let go of this. I'm going to meet you over there by the bales, and I'll meet you guys back in a little bit. Here we go, guys and gals. We are back over here with the bales. Um, if you don't know, this is a self-collecting bale grabber thingy and basically you drive where the bales are if you haven't seen this by any chance I think most of you have but if you, in case you haven't I'll show it to you it's really cool it does everything automatically all I'm doing is basically driving that gray thing that picks it up right in front of the bales it's really cool it collects 16 bales my silo over there with my bales is pretty much empty and so I really need hay this is how I'm doing it now I'm probably going to do until the end a mixture of this and a little bit of um, loading wagon stuff yeah look at that and you can collect 16 it's really cool and I'm from this I'm gonna just immediately dump it in that mixing machine and it should be really awesome so I've done eight remember eight is what I could only do with the round bales. so by now I would have had to dump them and come back and keep going but no, you can keep going, which is amazing. And it's more compact. They're a little better to stack, in my opinion. It's a little better in the sense of you can continuously bail. You don't need to stop every time. And I know in real life they have continuous round balers, which is really cool. I don't know about price. I don't know if they're super expensive. I'm guessing they are. But I don't know. I think it's really just awesome that they have stuff like that now. Hopefully we'll get a mod with that. That'll be amazing. Continuous round baler. Oh, yeah. And that's it, guys and gals. We have one left. So we know... Oh, wait. I thought that was 16. This last one. Okay, I'm going to have to back it on up. Oh, I'm stuck. Not really stuck. And there we go. And there we go. We got 16. Let's just dump them off over there. Like I said, in the silo, we'll end our episode there. And we are going to sell little bit more silage and get that baby done we're gonna get hopefully if everything goes okay the sugar beet harvester so that we can start with sugar beets i think i know where we're gonna do it oh yes guys and gals this is gonna get good thank you so much guys and gals for joining me i love all of you honestly it it is really a i have to say love because it it really touches me all the love and support that you give and so to me it just means the world to me it's not like i like you guys like it's really a form of love we don't have different words to express love there's friendship love romantic love there's unconditional love but i think this is truly a friendship love that i have with all of you because i mean you're so you're just so supportive and it's it's incredible 
It really is. Thank you so much, guys and gals. I'm going to drop this off. Let me hit unload bales right there. Look at that. Oh, really? You're not going to take the last two? All right, we'll collect those. We'll collect those. No problemo. No problemo. Hey, what's going on there? Oh, my gosh. It's okay. You can't waste them because they're going to be used again. As I said, thank you guys and gals. I'm going to tidy up just a little bit. I'm just going to do a little bit of collecting. I think I'm going to do something like this. Will this even work? I'm scared now. I don't think it will. We'll, we'll do it. We'll figure it out. We'll definitely figure it out. There we go. There we go. All right, guys and gals, I'll, I'll let you go. I'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget, always better yourself, and most importantly, be hopeful.